This isn't so bad. Aubrey said this brand was crap. Okay, well then maybe next time Aubrey can raid the grad party and we can leave our friends waiting in the graveyard. And besides, we're not drinking it for the taste. Eh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. My mom's gonna smell this on my clothes. Dude, I think your parents would be worried if you didn't smell like cheap beer on your first visit home. Okay, well, if you're so concerned about cheap beer, you can text Jimmy. He can bring some fancy crap. Ooh, I like fancy crap. Good, because I got this all over Shirley. Yeah. Sorry, Shirley. Beth doesn't know how to open cans. Hey, what the hell? Dude, come on. I don't want Shirley or uh, Ernest to be pissed at me. You got it over Ernest's side, too. Sorry, Ernest. I didn't see you there. You know what? When I get older, I'm gonna get a dog and name it Ernest. Even if it's a girl? Ernest won't see gender. Well, Ernest will be a dog, so he won't see color either. He'll be the perfect political activist. <gasps> oh my god, you're right! <sighs> Look at the dates. That's sad. I think, I think we knew he'd die when we found him in a cemetery. No, I mean like, Shirley's still alive. Oh. You know that Winnie the Pooh quote about dying? I thought Pooh had more chipper subjects to talk about. Like, honey addiction. Yeah, it's either Pooh or Piglet who says it. It's something like, if you live to be 100, I want to be a day less than 100 to never go a day without you. It's sweet. I, I think it's pretty selfish. I guess it's the thought that counts. He wants his friend to die after him so he can skip the mourning process. Well, when you put it like that, yeah. It's... Well, no, seriously, like, can you even fathom being with somebody for decades of your life and then having to go on without them after they die? You're probably just waiting around to kick the bucket. We don't know that. I mean, maybe Shirley's living a really full life, even though she's a widow. Like, maybe she's, I don't know, the tart of her nursing home. <laughs> well, that is a pretty nice thing to be known as. I don't know, maybe it gets easier, but do you ever really get over it? It's going on four years for my mom and my dad still can't get past it. Did I tell you that Aubrey's mom showed me his Tinder? Why does Aubrey's mom have Tinder? I don't know, maybe the Landons are trying out swinging or something. Ew, what does your dad's profile say? It says that he likes to read, he has a daughter, and that he's a widower. Well, that's honest. Yeah, it's depressing. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to matter because your dad goes out a lot. Yeah, but he still comes home every night and sleeps with my mom's nightshirt. Well, that's because he really loved her. Yeah, well, I don't think I want to love like that. Why not? I don't, I don't want the burden of having them forever. You have a really bleak outlook on love. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm just being realistic. I mean, look, look at Jimmy and Aubrey. Where? No, come on, you know what I mean. Like, they've been dating, what, four months now and they've like promised themselves to each other? It's like, they've got their whole damn lives planned out. That's how they want it. Yeah. And maybe that's how my dad wanted it too, but his five-year plan isn't turning out so hot. I mean, what if Aubrey meets somebody in school? Or Jimmy. Oh, come on, please. No one's gonna want Jimmy. You right. I mean, what's gonna happen? She made promises at 18 years old that she has to honor until she's the new tart of the nursing home? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Jesus Christ, we're fucking kids. I don't think you can say that here. If I can't say Jesus Christ and the Christ to redeem a cemetery, then where can I say it, Beth? I meant fuck. It's like, we have so much to experience, and I, I'm not ready to watch it all go away and lose my mind one day when death decides to pop up out of nowhere. You know what? I watch him. Like, every night. And he's just... 
he's pretending that it's all going to change. And he's lying to me. He had a fraction of a good life. And now he's got, like, decades of loneliness. And, and craving something that he's never going to get back. Until he's dead. He still has you. Yeah, on holidays. For now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be. It's not like, um, it's not like I like wondering if I'm gonna end up as lonely as my dad. It's just like, I, I wanna just live in the present and not always be thinking about my future or wishing the past could happen again. Then maybe you should take advantage of what you have now. One, two, three, four. <gasps> what about Jimmy and Oliver? This is probably why they're late. over the can. I'm pouring some out for the homies. What does that even mean? I don't think I know what anything means. You're right. Prettier than I ever could. 